When, when you grow up with nothing, you appreciate everything. And when you also have nothing, you have nothing to lose. When you work hard and you get what you worked hard for, you're grateful for it. Who is Reed Silberman? Jack of all trades, somebody who lives life to the fullest, somebody who takes risk, somebody who doesn't want to die saying, I wish I woulda. I'm the CEO founder of Ink Monster. What is Ink Monster? <laughs> we're designers, we're curators, we're visionaries, we're makers. We're the first company in my industry to create an artistic lifestyle brand out of what we do. A wall mural, your company culture, apparel for your brand, vehicle wraps, fleet wraps, exterior building murals like you see behind me right now. We're gonna take your brand and bring it to life. Make people feel what you want them to feel your brand is. We make dreams possible. Life growing up was hard. Um, it was challenging. It was painful. I was um, angry, resentful, rebellious, felt alone. You know, I'm blessed to have my father in my life. He, he really was the one who stood for me and, and helped me through the hard times. We moved a lot. I was in a different school every year, every other year, always the new kid. So my back was always to the wall. I was always in survival mode. I always had to fend and fight for myself. That just became normal. So when I had to make commitments and sacrifices and do whatever it took to build a business, do things that most people were never willing to do, I was willing to do it. I was willing to go there. I was willing to be all in, roll the dice, take risks, put it all out there. My business could have failed a hundred times in the past 15 years. And I only saw those as speed bumps and never locked doors. When I left Wall Street, I left New York. I moved to Colorado, bought a one-way ticket, never been here before. I wanted to feel different. I wanted to live different and I wanted to be a professional snowboarder. You know, I was a professional coach, coach teams. Through that, I learned about graphics and design and being creative and, and the arts. My goal was to only make my living out of things that I love to do. I started doing vinyl graphics and installations as a hobby. Turned my, my, my van business into a, a home business, into a warehouse business, into the business that now has a cult following and a creative following called Ink Monster. So it was just living in, in, in passion and, and doing a job, not for the money, but for the love of what you do. Sun Valley, the home of Ink Monster. It's a really tight-knit community. Everybody knows each other. Everybody cares about each other. Even though it's one of the lowest income neighborhoods in Denver, it's a tight community. People really care. It's been one of those neighborhoods that no one's ever heard of, but it's right under your nose. It's right next to Bronco Stadium. It's right on the river across from the convention center in downtown, but yet no one's ever heard of it. When I moved there six years ago, uh, I saw an instant opportunity to get involved in my community and give back to my community. Ink Monster was at the point where we were growing. We do uh, the Sun Valley Community Block Party every year. So it's a backpack school supply drive where you know we gave away 1,500 backpacks and school supplies. And, and fed the whole neighborhood and did a concert. And you know, we give tours to the kids in the community saying, you know, and when I talk to these kids say, you know, you don't have to be a product of your environment. You're not a victim to your resources. You know, you can be anything you want to be in life. I came from a similar environment. And you know, they look at everything Ink Monster is and how big we are and, and what we have. And you know, I try to encourage them that, you know, you can have and be and do whatever you want in life. There's so much opportunity here. There's so many different types of companies, so many different types of businesses. Uh, you know, my hat's off to the local government, the mayor's office, the governor's office, the Office of Economic Development, all the nonprofits here, everybody supporting businesses, everybody supporting local, everybody supporting each other. But what's important to me is, is living in passion and living in purpose and living in the vision and um, being successful. And being successful to me doesn't mean making all the money in the world. It means 
living a life worth living. We do this because we care. We want to give back to the community that we're in. We want to keep doing it every year, keep supporting our community, keep giving back. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.